Morning everyone, down here at the cash shed again. Today is our last day of mating, uh, or last day of AI. We've got uh, six weeks of uh, the bull to go. Um, there's a previous bit of, a bit of footage that you'll see before this is um, how I select uh, cows to be put up for AB. So it's just a few things that I look for uh, while I'm milking to uh, decide what cows I put up. So uh, yeah, enjoy and uh, I'll catch you later. All right, morning everyone. You're uh, joining me in the cow shed. Uh, I thought I'd show you how I select what cows I'm going to be putting up for AI. So here we have the first one, number 180. Uh, you can see she's been ridden. And then uh, back here on the other side, we've got two cows here, we've got uh, 260 and 94. So both these, all of these cows here will be getting drafted out and uh, being put up for AI. So now we're going to have a look in the yard. Number 23 here, she's on. And number 141, you can see the tails are quite rough. That's two. And there's actually another one there, 196. You'll find that, um, well, what I find is that the cows are coming, the cows are routine animals and they'll be in the same order generally. And then you'll get. Uh, times where there'll be a cow that's normally in the front front row, the first row, will be one of the last cows. And uh, yeah, you also get. Um, yesterday I had a cow that uh, she was sort of rubbed, rubbed like that, not really rubbed a lot. And I was questioning it, and then I milked her, and she was holding milk. And uh, that's another sign that you've got a cow that's on. Uh, I've only had that happen once, <coughs> once this mating. So, uh, yeah, we'll just go for a wander out here and have a look around. You also find that uh, they'll be hiding. Some of the ones that are a bit, uh, what would you say, a little bit, 
later in their cycle they'll be hiding and quite often you find them over in the back corner of the yard there and they'll avoid you if you have it you come out here and you write down all the cows that are um, in season and then you go back in the cow shed and you'll get a couple more that will come through the cow shed another one there 219 So in our first uh, two weeks we had 150 cows put up for AB and so that leaves us around 100 left. So I'm trying to write on my bit of paper as well as hold the camera. So the past three days, uh, here on the home farm we had a uh, day of 12, 17 and then another 12 and then today so far I've got 8 written down mm. and at the runoff, so the runoff we've got uh, 70 something uh, heifers being mated and in those same three days we had 6, 6 and 8 which is very extraordinary, that's a, a lot of heifers to put up out of a small mob. Better get back in the cow shed and milk. Cows don't milk themselves. A friendly one following me, 47. Mm. Are you in season? Then? This one here, 191. You can see on her back there, there's a bit of drool. It usually means that uh, other cows have been snipping her or there you go look it's gonna happen there we go that's what we want perfect so the red ones mean they've been done Sometimes that happens. Heifer at the front. She'll get out. 
runoff. Yesterday we finished AB here and uh, we put the balls in yesterday and today we put the balls in at home. Uh, it's the four short on balls you can see one one just there. Uh, I think we're already cycling I presume. Uh, I was just coming to have a look to see whether I need to move them. Uh, we're going to be going to the the last silage paddock down there but there's still a little bit around the edge uh, I can see quite a bit down the bottom there because there's a piece that you can't mow and then there's a piece where they're standing there they can't mow so they're cleaning that up so they'll be alright till tomorrow but uh, yeah everything went well sorry about the wind they're looking good I just came out and rolled up some fences and uh, just from getting cows in and out of paddocks or heifers in and out of paddocks and uh, I found oh, I came out at about 10 30 and we had, a, we had a hail like rain and it hailed so I went home and uh, came back it's now 20 to 2 or something like that it's, it's not too bad now a bit of cloud sitting on the hills Carry on.